Okay, it's time to show off the clothes from the other week. Um, basically, I'm gonna go through everything. This is just some of what I've listed that I think would be interesting. Um, I'm gonna try to say the size or estimate the size when I see it and point out details. Everything will be for sale unless I specifically say it's not. And obviously, if you have interest, just tell me and, you know. Okay, starting out. Got a Western shirt, Don Quixote, probably like 60s, just normal red with white stripes. Got another Don Quixote and a little bit more colorful of a shirt. Again, this is uh, maybe not 60s, but probably 80s, I would say. Same for both of them. Another Western shirt, different pointed collar, nice pattern, Temtex. Uh, yeah, probably anywhere from 60s to 80s on this. Nice, nice pockets. Next, we got a Dior button down. Nice little embroidery on there. Yeah. Another Christian Dior, sort of pink pattern, less red than it comes across on camera. Nice plaid pattern. Another Christian Dior chemise, um, made in USA, I believe, on these. Actually, it doesn't say, but some of them are made in USA. Sort of like a washed red chambray. Same shirt, pretty much everything exactly the same, that washed red chambray. Another Christian Dior, this time Monsieur. This one has a couple stains. I don't know if these came out with the OxyClean, I can't remember, but. <clears throat> Another Christian Dior, this time in a gray chambray, it looks like. Light gray chambray, Dior embroidery. Polyester cotton on all of them, I believe. One more uh, Dior chemise button down. This one I don't think has any stains, has the same embroidery on the chest. Does have some pit stains, gonna try and get that out um, with some OxyClean. Next we got this 60s um, pajama top. I think it's called Roby. This is a Rayon Expressions button-down, size medium. Nice pattern, sort of groovy, aquatic. This is a Montgomery Ward button-down, kind of like a Western shirt, probably 60s, size large. This is a 50s or 60s pajama top, Weldon. I think it could be worn as a shirt. Um, this one's probably not for sale. Nice paisley pattern all throughout. Actually, definitely 60s, look at the zipper. Got that horsepower, Ralph Lauren, and a classic 2000s pattern. Yep. This is just a nice pattern button down. Brand isn't anything special. Kind of like that moleskin cotton. Uh, XL, modern, 2000 probably. This is a Bill Blass uh, button down. 80s, 90s probably. I think polyester cotton. This is an older Banana Republic shirt. Nice pattern, sort of, I guess, well, yeah, just nice pattern, size large. Dead stock Bugle Boy, this one's probably gonna try to go on eBay, not for very much, but medium. One of the few tees from the program, this is a sport tee by Stedman, adaptive rehabilitation, I think it's a large, something like that. Got the fill on the back. 
50s or 60s Hall of Fame pullover. This one's not going to be for sale, but great pattern. Really intricate if you get into it. This is a, eh, you know, probably 70s or 80s button down. Just interesting pattern. Uh, medium. Another older Banana Republic shirt. Red base with this floral pattern inside. Size large. Probably 90s, early 2000s. Got the Tommy. Just a normal sweatshirt. Good condition. Made in India, medium. This one's not for sale. It is a poncho by Campus. Super cool pattern. Very like light wash, pale wave. And then the pullover detail is nice. This is probably a 70s uh, arrow. Yeah, arrow button down. There's another one of these later in the pile. Got the print on the bottom with the union label, but just a cool yellow and sort of darker yellow pattern. Fred Perry um, vest. Got a Alexander Julian uh, multi plaid shirt. Just nice. 90s sort of looking this is a 60s t-shirt it's a medium but the detail on this is the rainbow uh, stitching in the collar kind of neat this is a 60s acrylic um, vest terry cloth um, you know tank top Nice pattern shirt, timepieces, uh, you know, probably 90s, something like that, 80s possibly. Polyester button down, nice pattern, nice color palette, the mintiness is good, probably 80s. This is an Italian, probably polyester uh, button down, sort of a neat pattern on it. This is an 80s or 90s Bakra um, button down, fan collar. I think it's a large, medium, but I would say it fits a large. Does have a flaw right there. This is a Bushes of East Lansing button down. Just a nice plaid shirt. I think it's a medium, made in USA. Plain black band collar shirt, medium to large. 80s coach jacket, windy weather. Pink shirt, it's like a 80s or 90s. Brand is Rush, but sort of got this Givenchy looking collar. If you want to be that guy, here's your chance. He has a that guy shirt. I personally, I'm gonna to try to sell this. I don't think anyone, I don't think I want anyone I know to wear this. <laughs> Le Chat, a Lacoste ripoff, which is technically wrapping off uh, Le Tigre or something like that. Just a normal polo. Older chaps, Ralph Lauren. Um, this logo, just normal plaid. Golf polo, just golfing with the boys. Short sleeve button down, made in India. This one is made of Indian Madras. Gant, size large. Another just polo with an interesting pattern. Pretty plain, it's a medium I believe. Large, I like that's medium better. Blank jersey. Bugle Boy shirt, just washed floral pattern. Mm, 
80s or 90s uh, polyester button down, polyester cotton blend, but has a nice texture to it. Tank top. Arrow long sleeve button down. It's a medium large actually. Eddie Bauer rugby shirt, plain stripes, size large. Another coach jacket this time by Kmart, by 80s, says medium. Pink polyester button down by Young Bloods. Good condition, just plain shirt. Then Hughes and button down. Not sure of the air on this. Has the printing, so probably 70s, maybe 60s. Got that minty green, minty green Hudson's acrylic sweater. This one's probably, you know, eh, probably 60s. V neck, obviously. Unbranded trench coat, tag size 40. It's like a small. Arrow button down, short sleeve, uh, medium, probably could fit a large, long sleeve, okay, it is a long sleeve. Master built, sort of like a burnt orange, uh, short sleeve button down, this one I'm gonna try to sell. Nice jersey button down, nothing special modern but nice pattern it's probably like a 60s polyester button down king size probably like a large just white uh, polyester another ripoff of um, Lacoste Le Tigre this is an XL short sleeve button down This is beat, but it's cool. It's a 60s or 70s um, polo nylon, I believe. <clears throat> Another beat thing, this is a 2000s Labine. Very beat as well. This is a gift if, any, if anyone wants it, but I think, yeah. Uh, made in Hawaii polyester shirt, classic Hawaiian sort of style pattern with the flowers and color. 60s, or 70s, um, I guess bathrobe top or maybe pajama top. Got Terry on the inside, neat pattern, little logo. Yeah. 90s or 2000s Calvin Klein pearl snap shirt. Calvin on the chest, big Calvin here. Um, probably a large, yeah. This is a 60s Zero King, um, just sort of like a rain jacket. Not very good as a rain jacket anymore, but still cool. Got the talon zip. Does have the hem undone at the bottom, but I can sew that if anyone wants. Um, another just plain polo, black, red stripes, probably 80s, size large. Um, this one is a Indian Madras shirt as well. Doesn't say it, but you can tell by the way it is. Uh, normal colors, yep. This is a probably 80s polyester sear shirt, neat pattern, good condition. Two Dockers by Levi shirts, large and large, same pattern, I believe. Another rugby in a purple and white stripe, kind of nice. Arrow button down, this one is a cotton poly blend again, 
uh, made in USA, so probably like 80s, maybe 90s. Probably 90s because of that. Um, unbranded polyester button down, plain white stripes, or wait, white with blue stripes. Prescott, another probably like 80s polyester shirt made of nylon. White button down, probably 70s. Uh, cotton, maybe poly blend, short sleeve, size large. Little knit um, white polo, does have a stain there. Made in USA. Kmart shirt, just your plain button down, cotton poly blend. 80s most likely. Older Van Heusen button down in a light blue. Does need the pocket fixed and the hem down here re-sewn, but I could do that. Pink Hawaiian style shirt, worn on the outside so you're reverse on the inside so you can see the texture of the shirt, like a medium. 60s button down, cotton poly. Nice patterned shirt, medium. Another Hawaiian shirt. Good Hawaiian shirt with the two cans on it by Gant. It's medium. Another Hawaiian shirt, canoe, sort of outdoorsy, um, large. Another just pattern shirt, nothing special. More horsepower in the pile, polo on there, large, probably in 90s, maybe early 2000s. Another one of the 70s Aero shirts. Decked on with the print down here, Union label. Another um, just plain button down. And a Spartan coach jacket. So this is going to be a shorter one. This is going to be bottoms, shorts, and pants. So we've got some McGregor shorts. Hot men on them. Hot fishermen, I guess. Nice swim trunks with a good pattern. Large. Yeah. Got some black pants, Jordash, nothing too special. These are just some gray moleskin pants. This is a pair of 60s, I believe, Sears pants. Permapress, size 42. Pair of Rustler white denim jeans. No stains that I could see. Pair of Wranglers. Not sure of the date on these, but they are made in USA. Nice 90s style shorts, just that splatter with 90s colors, mediums, I believe, by campus. Toucan shorts to match the toucan shirt from earlier. Swim trunks as well. Fruity shorts, all types of fruit on them. 
wool pants. I believe these are a 42 as well. Got a Talon zip. Boxing pants. Not sure of the date on these, but kind of neat. Good logo. These are some Made in USA Farrah pants. Polyester. And these are some... I believe Made in USA Botany 500. I think they are a wool blend, if I remember correctly. They're a polyester blend. Yeah, wool polyester. Size 42. These are one of my favorite things from the... Tall. So they are normal shorts, probably a cotton nylon blend, maybe just some sort of cotton synthetic blend. Leather trim on the details. City Mark Himalayan of California. They got a nice big leather patch on the back. This is a pair of Made in USA polo shorts. Typical 2000s colors, even though these were probably made before then. Very bright. More McGregor short shorts. Probably 70s, size 36. Some maroon polyester pants. Forget the brand on these. Uh, Habund again. Made in USA. Postgrad pants, probably a cotton, maybe wool blend, probably cotton polyester. <clears throat> Pair of DC Main USA work pants. And we've got a second pair as well. This is probably a more modern piece, but it's a cotton ripstop Kinniku, I believe. Pair of cargo pants. Kinney Koo, size 34. And finally, a pair of Rustler Cord, size 36, with the care tag still on it. Don't see that as often. Okay, this stack is going to be rayon and silk button downs, primarily, short sleeve and long sleeve. So, first we have a silk button down, nice pattern. It is a medium. Robert Stock, another Robert Stock, this time large, with a sort of baseball jersey style, probably uh, after shower wear, but could be worn casually. This is a rayon medium Hawaiian shirt. Classic Hawaiian style. Pair of silk boxers. <laughs> Rayon button down, size medium. This is a silk Oleg Cassini button down. Interesting pattern. Kmart Deadstock shirt has the inspection label on the inside sleeve. This is an XL. Rayon Hawaiian shirt. Nice colors on this one. It is a little medium. Bill Blass uh, silk or cotton um, sleeping shirt. Bruno, this is a silk large shirt. Nice floral pattern on it. <clears throat> Another made in Hawaii. This is rayon or cotton. This is a cotton Hawaiian shirt. A 
band collar silk Robert Stock shirt. This is a large, medium. Pierre Cardin pattern shirt, Rayon, I believe. And it is a large. Another Islander Hawaiian shirt, a little greener than it shows up in the video. Rayon, and it is a large. This is a beat silk shirt, silk time, probably going to be for fabric usage. Another silk Bruno shirt, sort of airbrushy pattern. It is a small, but would fit a medium, maybe even a large. Another silk button down, Bogari, it's medium, just gray silk. Another silk button down. This one is going to be used for scraps because it's pretty beat. Another Robert Stock silk shirt. This is a large, decent pattern, nice colors. This is another silk button down, free fall. It's a small, but good colors, great pattern. Hot pink silk button down by Street Sense. You know, I got that. It's a large. Um, okay, back to it. Another silk button down. This one is also probably a repair one or scrap usage. Silk button down, size medium, good pattern. This is an made in USA. Um, I want to say it's silk. I'm not sure. Feels more like a cotton. I'm gonna say it's a cotton blend, but great colors, very abstract floral pattern. Um, pattern or er, pat fabric is from Germany. This is another cotton button down. Nice pattern. It's a large. A rayon Pierre Cardin shirt, diamond pattern throughout. Thumbs up for him. This is an, probably a rayon shirt, but interesting pattern, sort of bandana inspired. Another Robert Stock, another silk, another medium. Low-key, swirly graphic. More Robert Stock. Another crazy pattern. Also silk. Also a medium. This is a, another silk shirt in large. Just an abstract pattern. Short sleeve, or long sleeve, excuse me. Another Robert Stock. I think we already saw this pattern, but can't remember. Silk again and medium. Silk robe. A silk medium button down with a abstract pattern if you're seeing a trend. Yellow silk button down. This is a medium. My storage ran out, so we're working through that. But here's the last couple things. This is a rayon a large Hawaiian shirt. Perm press, um, just cotton poly blend shirt.
medium. And finally, another silk button down. Van Heusen, good pattern. It's a medium and silk.